State's Higher Education Minister MC Sudhakar and two MLAs and two MLCs have threatened to resign if the Kolar seat was given to Cabinet Minister and seven-time MP K.H. Muniappa's son-in-law. The Kolar tussle is yet to be resolved and another front has been opened by supporters of former Chief Minister Virappa Moili. A Congress MLA has also written a letter to the High Command to give Moili the ticket in 2019, remember the BJP had swept Karnataka, winning 25 of 28 seats. The Congress had won one seat and JDS won, and the other one went to an independent candidate. After winning the assembly elections with a landslide, the Congress is hoping to reflect its consolidation in the Lok Sabha polls as well. But with internal differences taking center stage, the question is, can the Congress high command ensure it doesn't really derail their campaign? Joining me on the show, Amitabh Tiwari, political strategist. We have Sayyid Asad Abbas, political analyst who supports the Congress. We also have Mohan Krishna, spokesperson of the BJP. Amitabh, beginning with you, how are you looking at uh, the fissures playing out in Karnataka? See, I think uh, Kolar is a very specific case because uh, there has been a history of factionalism in the seat. The people today, Mr. Sudhakar or Dr. Mr. Ramesh, Nanja Gowda, Manjunath, etc., who are opposing K.H. Maniappa's son-in-law candidature, actually had worked against the Congress party official candidate, which was Maniappa himself, in 2019. And that's why he lost the 2019 election to uh, Muniswami of BJP. So it's a peculiar case wherein there has been a history of rivalry. And the faction of Mr. Sudhakar is betting on the fact that since uh, from the family, from Muniappa family, he himself, as well as his daughter, are enjoying powers of position, then this ticket should not be given to his family member, as this would give BJP a chance to attack the Congress party on dynastic politics. Hmm. However, that said, we have seen in Karnataka that most leaders have hopped from one party to another, and we've also seen similar disturbances or factionalism in BJP, wherein the tickets have been announced. Yes. And there is also a lot of factionalism and discontent going on. So we'll have to see how this pans out for both the parties. Yes, it's playing out on both the sides. But the larger question here is that why are the differences not being able to... Why is the Congress uh, leadership, particularly Mr. Siddharamaya and D.K. Shiv Kumar, not able to sort it out? Uh, Sayyid Abbas, the point here is that if you field the son-in-law, then certainly the charge that will come from likes of Mohan Krishna and the entire BJP would be uh, dynastic politics. Well, that would raise a lot of questions upon the BJP. I would set the mirror and reflect on them. Who is the current uh, BJP chief in Karnataka? It is Vijayendra, the son of Yadirappa. We can give you many, many such examples. I've always believed, Mariaji, with great power, there's great responsibility and equal accountability. Well, yes, the Congress is doing everything in its might and possible. Mr. Bhairati Suresh, a very able minister under the government and leadership of Sri Siddharamaya ji and also Sri D.K. Shiv Kumar, has been given the task to set things right. But let me tell you, during elections, this is bound to be in every party be the Congress, JDS, or even the BJP. As a matter of fact, in the last elections, I can tell you, in the office of Mr. Uh, Yadiyarappa, there were seats broken by BJP workers and karyakartas. Not just that. Mr. Mohan Krishna is here, and I will tell you, I have reports of Mr. Ishwarappa. Ishwarappa, a very tall leader of the BJP, who said, this BJP of Karnataka under Yadiyarappa has become like the Congress Parivarvad, where only... Yadiyarappa's sons Raghavendra and Vijayendra are given all the rights and remains and they should not be allowed to contest the seat from Shivamoga. In fact, he wanted to contest from there. Not just that. Even when Yaduvir was given the Prince of Mysore, was given the ticket from Mysore, Pratap Simha was not no, given. No, I there understand. I will ask those questions to the BJP uh, spokesperson here, uh, Abbas. But the question here is that... All these differences aren't playing out the manner in which it is playing out in the Congress camp. And only it recently is, you have won the state yes. with a landslide. On the BJP side, yes. you do not have 
MLAs and MLCs threatening to quit. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Uh, Mohan Krishna. Maria, Maria, Maria ji, uh, the Congress Maria. right now is at Okay, let, let Mohan Krishna respond right and then I'm coming back to you, Abbas. Yeah. Sure, sure. Good evening, Maria. Nice to be on NDTV. As Mr. Syed Abbas was saying, I would like to ask a simple question to Syed Abbas. How many kids and kids have been given ticket this time, Mr. Syed Abbas? You are talking of dynasty of uh, Yadurappa and Vijayendra. Don't you have, don't you ashamed? Are you not ashamed? How many tickets out of 24 seats, what they have announced, 24 seats they have announced. They have given it to 21 to their kids and kids. Who is the Karyakarta there? Show me. As a BJP, we have the Karyakartas and we can, we are doing wonders. Our Karyakartas are going to each and every place. Now, this Congress dynasty politics, they are continuing. What is the opposition today, Sayyid Abbas? Bhairati Suresh is control, he is trying to control things. Sidramaya says everything is done. DK Shukuma says, talks about JDS and BJP alliance. What's happening in your house? Are you explaining to the people of the country and people of Karnataka? If you allow me, sir, I will explain. No, no, please, please. You allow I have me. listened to you. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. I am listening to you. Yeah. The first and foremost thing is, there, there were rumors that ministers were supposed to, to be the candidates for the Congress. Why they have denied it? So, you know, I, I think okay, the time well, is here answer. for both the parties to look within. But Amitabh Tiwari... No, both the parties, both the parties, Maria, I will not accept it. No, both but you have to also... You also it. have we differences have which is playing out publicly, Mr. Mohan Krishna. We don't allow have me it. to allow me to answer Maria. Can I please yes. respond? Yes. Okay, Mr. Mr. Mohan Krishna, you know, it's a bit too rich uh, coming from you, sir. Haven't you heard from your own leader, Mr. Ishwarappa? He's called the Yadiyarappa's party as a Parivarivad party. Be it B.Y. Vajravendra or Raghavendra. So that is okay with you, sir. Two wrongs don't make a right, sir. If you're calling Congress wrong, you are also wrong in giving Raghavendra a ticket. Don't can you I feel just, ashamed of that? Sir, please look into your own party. Also, as a matter of fact, can you? No, no, no. Don't, don't interfere, I sir. I did not yes, Mr. Mohan Krishna, I'm coming speak. to you. I'm coming to you. Let Abbas finish his point. Yes, go ahead. Allow Abbas. me to finish my point, sir. Ah. Thank you very much. Hmm. Respected, sir. As much as you may try, hmm. the people are not fools. The people of Karnataka have given the mandate to the Congress party. On NDTV, let me ask you, is the Operation Lotus on? Like in Punjab, what you've done? Trying to poach up MLAs? Are you trying to do the same here? Let me ask you this question in NDTV. Also, as a matter of fact, the Congress is right now very comfortable in 135 MLAs. No, no, it's MLAs. not about Even the state government out, being on any sticky wicket. Abbas, the question is that after the kind of victory that we saw, wouldn't it have been better that the Congress could have consolidated its gains further by ensuring that it presents a united picture in which I'll a United that, House Maria. is going into I'll the answer. elections. That is the point that I'm trying to make. Maria, Maria, and here are veterans Maria, answer, of the party who are seconds, either not giving up the place that they so you know carefully guarded or they are handing it over to their son-in-laws or, or uh, you know uh, that, family members. Yes, Mr. Mohan Krishna. Maria, it is out and clear now. Congress has got a dynastic politics and people within the Congress are opposing the dynastic sir? politics. Please don't talk. Please don't talk. What do you call Yadiyarappa and his son? No, no, no. Please, that's please don't family? talk. Don't talk. Abbas, don't talk. Not family Abbas, don't talk. Abbas, on NDTV, we do not him. like this cross talk. You have to be respectful towards your co-panelist. We are very respectful, ma'am. Yes, Don't please. worry about that. Let Mohan Krishna finish his point. The dynasty politics... Politics is out and clear in Karnataka today. And that is happening in India also. India, India Alliance has got a dynastic person huh. from, from the... I need not have to explain too much here now. Now the question is, the Congress has come to power a year back. Not even a year now. 
11 months back. Now what are they doing? If the fishers are there so much, they are running on the guarantee government. How can they assure the people of the country if they are not, a, they cannot do it for the state? How can they do it, assure for the country? What are the principles? Okay, sir. No, what I are the, you? no, no, please listen, please listen. I'm please listen to you. Can I get what are, also what are the things they are giving? The guarantee has failed. You know what no, is Maria? When we were in power okay. in Karnataka. Maria, can I get okay, time quickly, a pass we respond to we that and then I bring in Amitabh and give him the last word. Go ahead. Now, let's let's speak on facts, sir. You say, you say that the guarantees have failed. I challenge you on NDT, which guarantee has failed? Gruha Lakshmi, Gruha Jyoti, Yuvan Nidhi, Anna Bhagya, Saki. All of them Everything are working. Sir. You are Everything no, 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 no. Now you are not. No, that's more rhetorical, you... Mr. Mohan Krishna. Let let him finish his point. Allow yes. me to finish. Yes. Thank yes. you, sir. Mohan Anna. Namaskara, sir. Dhanyavad, yes. Now, coming straight to the point, Maria, let me tell you, all the schemes have been working. Hmm. There have been fantastic pro incumbency in the last one year. Beat Anna Bhagya scheme, beat Mahila Sakya scheme, Gruha Jyoti, Gruha Lakshmi, hmm. Yuvan Nidhi, all of them have been working. This has rattled the Bharti Janta Party, which made Karnataka a communal laboratory. Sir, okay. Hindu Muslim does Amitabh not work Tiwari, here. Work, sir? Amitabh Tiwari, Tiwari, no, last, do you last think point, Maria, Maria, the, seconds, the, these Maria. are Ten temporary seconds. issues and not please? really sir, teething problems Parivar. which can derail the Congress campaign? Amitabh, you have to unmute yourself. Yes. Yeah, we will have to see how the Congress party manages this this discontent because there is obviously a DK Shiv Kumar versus Siddharamaya angle also playing out here. However, said that the implementation of schemes have been decent, except for perhaps the unemployment allowance scheme, which was launched last, and there have been some technical glitches. However, the bigger question is whether people who are beneficiaries of state government schemes are going to vote for the Congress party or give them the due in a national election for a Vidhan Sabha performance or will they wait for the Vidhan Sabha election and then give their judgment. That's one part. Second is BJP is relying heavily on the Modi factor. The Modi factor, which is 33% in the rest of India is actually 53%, which means one out of every two voter of the BJP in Karnataka voted for the party because of Prime Minister Modi. And then there is the angle of JDS because BJP also perhaps realized that they could lose a few seats as has been uh, also expected by most of the opinion polls and they roped in uh, JDS to, uh, to, to, to improve their prospects in the southern part of Karnataka. Hmm. However, again, the question is whether JDS enjoys the same level of Vokkaliga support after having a disastrous uh, uh, term in the 2023 Vidhan Sabha election. So the situation is fairly fluid. It depends upon how both the parties manage their campaigns from now on and how a seamless transfer of votes takes place between JDS and BJP and how both the parties manage the discontent because discontent is fairly high amongst both. Okay, BJP how much do you think this discontent will impact electoral choices? Or do you think that discontent is largely an issue which plays out in assembly elections, not as much as in a Lok Sabha election where there is a clear, which is a presidential election this time, as it was in the last two elections, Amitabh? Yeah, so as you rightly said, discontent results in rebels contesting elections. But mm -hmm. we've seen that in Lok Sabha elections because the amount of resources required to contest election is very high. The number of rebel candidates are very low. They are high in a Vidhan Sabha election. So what max could happen is that those particular people who are not happy may try to sabotage the prospects in their respective areas. But it tends to cancel out because most of the parties themselves are facing these issues, including JDS as well. So uh, perhaps it could get neutralized or cancelled out. And the fight then is on a presidential style, which is a leader versus leader and a beneficiary versus beneficiary battle, a state government beneficiary versus a central government beneficiary All right. battle. Amitabh Tiwari, appreciate your time, Sayyid Abbas and also Mohan Krishna.